Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokeball. Last time we got here to Marville Town, we got an HM, and we talked to people, and now we're gonna get a bike. Is this you? Uh, no. No, no, thank you. Well, well, what do we have here? A most energetic customer. Me, you call me Rydal. I'm the name of the cycle shop. You're ruining shoes. They're awfully filthy. Son of a bitch. Did you come from far away? Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, saying that you came all the way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. Well, if I had surf, it wouldn't be, but okay. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind as it rapes you. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Wait a second, I forgot to tell you there are two kinds of bikes. They are mock bike and acro bike. Mock bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind with their bodies. Ooh, <laughs> I like the wind. Uh, anyway, um, an acro bike is for those who pre prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Uh, I believe I'll take the... Hmm. See, the problem is... Uh, these bikes allow you to do different things. So, for example, there are uh, sandy slopes, and then there's like, um, oh, there's really thin, like, bridges and stuff like that. So the mock bike goes really, really fast. So you, if you have the mock bike, you can ride up those sandy slopes, and if you have the acro bike, you can balance on those bridges. So both bikes allow you to go different areas, which is very cool. I think for now I'm going to take the acro bike. So, there's that. Win the acro bike. All right, and it's a little bit easy to work with, or easier to work with. I prefer the acro bike because it's a lot easier to control it. What's this? What is this town starts north and south, east and west. Because of that, we get all sorts of people coming through. Isn't there a coin case somewhere around here? I think you get a coin case in here, actually. Let's go in here. If I had a bike, it'd be easy to cycle. Oh yeah, be able to buy harbor mail. See? Oh, you have harbor mail? Yeah, there we go. You get it. Uh, you trade a harbor mail for the coin case, and now you can do um, gambling. Because this was back when Pokemon games had balls, and you could actually gamble. Now you can't. Now you just do that stupid friggin' Voltorb flip game. God. Awful. All right, what do we get here? Change your coins for prizes. What can we get? We can get a tree. Oh, I don't want dolls. It's dumb. I'd rather have Pokemon Legos. I have a Lego Gargoyle. Uh, I have a Lego Gargoyle. I have a Lego Charmander and a Lego uh, Gengar. So, uh, TM32, uh, TM13, 34, 35. I believe that's Flamethrower. 32, what is that? Ah, oh, crap, I don't remember what those ones are. Oh, I don't remember what those are. Damn it, not off the top of my head, anyway. All right, well, you can get some TMs there. You can get some other stuff there. It's pretty cool that you can gamble and actually get cool stuff for it, but it's actually pretty hard to get enough coins to get it. So what will usually end up happening is you spend just a crap load of money and buy coins instead of gambling. Okay. So what you need to do now is come in here. Well, I mean, you don't have to do this. It's just a shortcut that you can take if you want. And it also leads to more trainers. That's why I'm doing it. So acro bike. Hooray. Now, you can't actually come in here without a bike. So yeah. So there's a cycling road. And basically what it does is it allows you to bypass all the grass below. Uh, how do you like the way my raven hair, raven colored hair streams behind me? <laughs> well, black haired chicks are hot, but whatever. The triathlon is hard in the extreme! <laughs> I'm hard in the extreme for black haired chicks! <laughs> God, sorry. Anyway, ugh. triathlete Abigail! That's not good. Well, I guess I can kill it. Thank God, I can kill it. I don't want to have to deal with you. Okay. <laughs> I suddenly got very depressed. Uh, Pokemon battles are hard, too. Yes. Yes, they're hard if you suck. They're not for me, because I don't suck. I'm actually... Uh, oh, I didn't know you were... I actually didn't remember if that guy was a trainer or not. Now, something that's kind of cool about Cycling Road is if you have the mock bike, um, and after you beat all the trainers, preferably, uh, if you have the mock bike and you get down Cycling Road all the way from start... Oh, wow. Lucky you. Um, if you go from the top to the bottom of Cycling Road, um, you will actually get timed and rated on your, uh, on your ride. So the more crashes you have, like the more times you run into walls or people, the more times, like the more time it takes for you to actually do it, the lower your rank. You don't, I don't know if you actually get anything for it, but... It's just something kind of 
It's something a little bit neat in the game that, that's there. Because it, it doesn't do anything, as far as I know. Four attack. Oh my god. But yeah. I don't know if it does anything. I don't know if you can get an item for it. If you, like, go perfect. But, yeah. That's just something that you can do. Don't panic if your bike's going fast. Well, I don't have a mock bike, so my bike never goes fast. And, fun fact about me, personally, this is not a lie, this is... This isn't about the trainer, this is about me. Uh, I actually do not know how to ride a bike. I never learned how to ride a bike. So, there you go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Jeez. I tried laughing and then I coughed. Thanks, God. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Um, oh, I fell down too much when I was a kid, and I just... it. It didn't seem worth it to me, for all the pain and suffering and hardship. Oh, hey, you got that bike from Rydal. Oh, this guy's famous. You got that bike from Rydal. Oh, it's glaringly obvious. It says right on your bike. Rydal, 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 Rydle, 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 Rydle. That name's everywhere! You should ride around all over the place. Good advertising. God damn, I hate that guy. And I just had to say every single one. I had to. I couldn't pass it up. Okay, so fight this trainer. A lot of times they ride. They ride all. <laughs> they ride in, uh, in loops. So if you see one um, riding around then just wait in their loop. It's easier than trying to catch up to them and then getting in their way. Because a lot of time you'll ride in front of, you know, you'll ride past where they actually turn. So, yeah. Blah. Now. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Burps. Burps are my... The bane of my Let's Playing existence is burps. And... Uh, ranch dressing, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, now, I believe it's, I believe this is possible. And it's kind of interesting. I've never actually done it before, but I'm fairly certain that you can actually beat the third gym in this game before you beat the second one, I think. I just know that it's technically possible. I don't know if the game will actually let you do it, but... I know that it is possible because you don't actually have to stay in Duford Town. Because as soon as, I'm pretty sure that as soon as you deliver the lever, the lever, the letter to um, Stephen in the cave, you can leave. Because they assume you're going to beat the gym first and then go do it. But if you deliver the letter first, you can leave, come here, and do all this stuff here and go up to the third gym and fight him. At least I think. I don't know if there's some requirement where you have to beat the second gym in order for something to happen. Like, maybe Team Magma isn't in the... Like, they're not in front of the Oceanic Museum if you don't beat the second gym. But I just know that if that isn't the case, it's possible to beat the third gym before the second one. So, there you go. And of course, I only know that because I'm a complete nerd who has played this game so much that I've just noticed that and noticed that there's nothing that requires the um, thing. So yeah, here, this is the guy that you talk to. On this cycling road, those riding mock bikes are rated for their number of collisions and their total times. Acrobites do not, or acro bikes do not qualify for rating. They're easy to turn, so it's not fair. So there you go. I wonder why they don't do... They, I think they ought to have separate times. Why not have times for acro bikes and times for mock bikes? You know? Oh, well. doesn't matter to me. Because I'm pretty sure you don't get anything for it. But who knows? Maybe you do. Maybe you get, like, some secret item. Like, if you get it in, like, one second, even though it's not possible, if you get it in, like, half a second, you get, like, a million Master Balls. That's probably what happens. I'm sure that's what they did. Wouldn't that be hilarious if someone... If someone at Game Freak actually put that in, that'd be amazing. That's something I would do. It's like, hey, hey, I'm gonna type this in. Get a million master balls if you do it in one second. You know? 
Uh, I hope you guys could actually hear me fake typing. I really hope you could. I don't know if you could. It didn't show up very much on the audio, but I really hope you could hear that, because that was part of the joke. And just in case you couldn't hear it, uh, part of the joke was I was taking forever to type, like, tiny words. Like, it took me, like, ten seconds to type the word do, like, D-O. <laughs> and I was still hitting keys. Okay. True. God damn it! I hate you! Stop it! God, I hate this! I hate you! I don't actually hate Shroomish, I just hate Effect Spore. And actually, I love it when I have it, I just don't like fighting things that have it. Oh, thank god. Uh, let's keep going with Cory, because he's... he's so hard to train. Oh my god, he's hard to train. That's the price I pay for loving Zangu so much. I swear to god, he's my... he's my favorite Pokémon in the, the entirety of the series. My favorite Pokémon. Followed closely by Groudon. And then he is closely followed by something else, I don't know. But, yeah, I have lots of favorite Pokemon. Oh, okay, now I believe you talk to this rock, or one of them. I'm pretty sure if you talk to one of these rocks, it gives you an item. Yep, here we go, heart scale, that's very important. Um, not, well, I guess not really, but basically, uh, Fisherman's equipment is the key. If a trainer's key, ingredients are Pokemon in heart. Ugh. Heart! Okay, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, heart scales allow you to uh, relearn moves that your Pokemon could have learned. So for example, let's say, um, okay, let, let me think. Okay, let's say, uh, this is just an example. Let's say I evolve Skitty, and Delcaddy at level one would have learned Body Slam, or something like that. So, because my Delcaddy is not level one, it's not gonna learn that uh, it's not going to learn Body Slam. But with a Heart Scale, I can actually have the Pokemon learn a move that would have that it would have previously known. Or, you can get moves that you got rid of. So, for Skitty, since I got rid of Growl, I could have it relearn Growl if I want. So, depending on the Pokemon, that is incredibly useful. Or, if you just made a mistake and accidentally erased a move that you actually really like. So, Heart Scales are very good. Uh, there's not many of them in the game, so be careful with what you, uh, use them on, because... Hell... There's not many of them. Now, I believe in later games, there are ways to actually get heart scales more reliably, so... Yeah, at least that's a thing. Because that's such a useful system. I believe it's just called the Move Relearner, or the Move Tutor, or something. But, okay. Yay, la, 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 la. Okay, so, man, that's all the trainers, all cleaned up. Now, up here, is there any grass up here? Oh, right, there's this. There's that. Ugh. Okay, I believe I need a rocks. Actually, can I teach rocks match to slavery? Because I'd like to. Uh, rocks match. Slavery. Learn it, you bastard. Yay! Good. Okay, so now I can get rid of Growl. Uh, yes, I don't want Growl. Good, thank god Slavery can learn Rock Smash. is very helpful. I didn't want to teach it to Corrin. Ba -ba -bum. Okay, so can I break these yet? Uh, it's Rugged Rock. Okay, yeah, I need to be able... I need to beat the third gym in order to go up there, and that sucks. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the, um, the item storage. I'm going to grab my EXP share, because I need to do this. Blech. Burp. Okay, the draw, EXP share, yay, there we go. Okay, oh, and also let's go ahead and heal. I'm gonna need to heal for this. Well, I mean, not really, but I'd like to have all my moves back. Yay, thank you. Love you, Nurse Joy, but not as much as Skittles. Okay, God. Okay, so this is a series of five battles in a row. So if you have the XP share and you have a Pokemon that you like to train, uh, go ahead and put it on whatever it is you want to share experience with, because this is a non-stop uh, spirit. Er, non-stop spirit. Uh, this is a non-stop series of battles. So if you want to um, swap to something else, they're gonna take damage, unless you are have already killed something. So yeah. So that's why I'm giving him the EXP share, so that way I don't need to worry about it and I can just spam slash. Okay, Skittles is probably going to get a couple levels in this. Or maybe not a couple, but it's probably going to get a level. Maybe a level and a half, something like that. 
So, this is actually fairly easy. Um, it's just that it's a lot of Pokemon in a row, so if you're, um, you know, if the move that does the most damage doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, power points, or PP, because, <laughs> PP, <laughs> it means urine. Anyway, if you have a lot, if your, your best moves don't have a lot of, uh, power points, then, uh, you're gonna run out, and it will be a pain in the ass, because you won't have any strong moves to deal with these guys. But, I have plenty, because I have 20. Ding! And you're dead. Especially if you're not one-shotting them, because then it's going to take like two or three per Pokemon, and they have, you know, it's five trainers worth of Pokemon. Now, they don't all have six, thank God, but, you know. They have something like two and one and three, and I think one of them might have four. Okay, you're stronger than Mummy? Wow, I'm strong too, really, honestly. Okay, you've got three. I murdered you. I slashed your head off, even though your head is pretty much all just in your body. Oh god, I hate you so goddamn much. I'm gonna murder your face, which is again like your whole body. No, you're dead. Good. Don't give me a damn status condition. Good. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die most badly, and it's gonna hurt. See, I hurt you. All your pain, and you're dead, and you passed out out of sheer pain. That's gotta really be wow. That would hurt. I've never. That's never happened to me. I've never been in that much pain before. Okay. How dare you make my granddaughter cry? Brother? I'm gonna smack you. Prepare to lose. Well, you're not actually gonna smack me. You're just gonna beat up my Pokemon. You know, this is kind of dark when you think about it. It's like when uh, there was actually a um. God, that's a dark skit too. Uh. There was a, uh, a Whitest Kids You Know, uh, W-K-U-K, Whitest Kids You Know, that's a comedy, it's a comedy group, and they do sketch comedy, and a lot of it is very, very mature adult stuff, so be forewarned, if you're gonna watch them. Um, but one of the joke, uh, well, it's not really a joke, um, one of the skits was about how, like, these dads, like, it's just a bunch of dads. They're just sitting around, they're talking about what they do to discipline their children. You know, it's like, oh, I spank my children. It's like, oh, I, I take away their cell phone. You know, stuff like that. Normal stuff. And then one of them is like, this gets really, really dark. And it's like, it's like, oh, well, my son has a pet bunny. And whenever he, uh... You know, whenever he acts up, I just, I grab his bunny, and I start squeezing, and I just look into his eyes. I look into my son's eyes, and I'm just squeezing, and squeezing, and I'm just letting him know that when he does bad, it's his bunny that pays the price. It's like, oh my god! It's like, totally horrible, and like, dark, and evil, and then, and then everybody's like, oh, I'm okay with that, yeah, it's a good method! And it's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so... Uh, that made me think of, um, you know, the grandma saying, uh, I'm gonna smack you for making my kid cry. That's what, that made me think of that. Right, so, you're the first trainer I've seen who deploys Pokemon so masterfully, but I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League Challenge, I'll have you know. And that's actually a reference to, um, maybe there's even stronger than the grandma, yes. Let's see, we use the Macho Brace. Yeah, so you've been our retired frame, I don't see, I don't know if you need it, but we would like you to have our Macho Brace. Yay. Bum, ba, da, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Now, I don't... I'm not going to be using it, sorry. But, yeah. There's no question that you're strong, but if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any trainer our family knows. He must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. Now, there is actually... You do get to fight their, uh, their son, and he's in Victory Road, which I think is very cool. Uh, it's only... He bar you just barely are able to tell who he is, but it is actually him, and you do get to fight him. It's very cool. So, I am now going to end it off. I'm going to put away that Macho Brace, because I'm not going to use it. I know what it does. Don't worry. I know that it is very useful, and I'm, but uh, I'm just not going to use it. So, yeah. Because I don't need any more unfair advantages, because I already have a Zangoose. I'm already going to have him a champ and all that. So, yeah. So, Next time on Pokeball, we're going to continue to explore the area around town and then possibly take on the gym pretty soon. So, see you then.